Evening, everyone. The Reds in a desperate situation, starting the night seven and a half back of the cards. Seven of their next ten come against the division leaders. Let's play two tonight. Chris Reitzma sent to double Here's A to make drive. room for Elmer Descends to start game two, and it wasn't a good start. Two-run single by Pujols, followed by a three-run shot from Scott Rowland. Five-nothing in the first. Chuck Finley on tonight. Didn't allow a hit till the sixth inning. Seven Ks, unlikely Juan Castro with the only two singles. This is why the cards dealt for Finley, a five-nothing Complete game shutout. Game one. Tied at one in the second. Base is juiced. Kelly Stinnett coming through. Base hit. Adam Dunn scores 2 1. Base is still juiced for Brian Moeller. Right to Roland. Turns and throws. Oops. Casey scores. Brannion scores. It is 4 1 Reds. Not done yet. Todd Walker. Base hit to score. Kelly Stinnett. Make it 5 1 Reds. They're cruising, right? Yeah, until the next half inning. Pool holes, then Come Scott on, Rowland yeah, with back to back solo by, shots. It makes the game 5 3. Moeller yanked in the third inning for Chris Reitzma. It's 5 4 in the ninth with two on. Rowland to third. Booney steps on the bag, throws to first. Ball game. Red split 5 4. They were momentarily six and a half games back. You know, we can't worry about the Astros. We have to worry about who's here. And, and St. Louis is here. And it was great to get the first one of the doubleheader. You know, that, that was a tough ball game uh, to win. But we came out on top. And, um, you know, when they're here, we got to do what we can. Here's the problem. Hot hitting Austin Kearns may have hurt his rookie of the year chances. The outfielder strained his left hamstring while running out of grounder in the fifth placed immediately on the 15-day disabled list. Quickly limped off the field. Outfitter Jose Guillen was called up to take his spot. Several teams called off travel plans for Thursday, waiting instead to deal with a possible Friday strike. Negotiators held on long afternoon session today and non-binding issues rather than trading proposals. No progress reported. Welcome back. First, the good news. Austin Kearns may return to the Reds next month. His hamstring injury isn't as serious as first thought. Now the bad news. Gabe White joins Kearns on that 15-day disabled list with a strained left groin. Meantime, on the field, it's the Reds and Cards tonight. Let's go to Synergy. Sean Estes keeps the Cards scoreless till the fourth when J.D. Drew singles the right center. Albert Pujols scores. St. Louis goes up one to nothing. Next up, Miguel Cairo doubles the left center. Eduardo Perez comes home. But when J.D. Drew tries to score, watch here. Aaron Boone bare hands the ball, throws it to the plate, nails Drew. Cards lead three to nothing after four. Nice play. The Reds score in the seventh. Ken Griffey Jr. Junior grounds out, but it's good enough to drive in Jose Guillen. Reds cut the margin of 3-1. But in the eighth, uh-oh, Scott Rowland sends one off Boone's glove. By the time Barry Larkin gets it, Fernando Vina crosses the play, cards 4-1. And with two outs in the eighth, Ken Griffey Jr. tries to make the catch in center, but the ball appears to hit off his wrist. All three runners score. The Cardinals go on to win 9-2. For the first time this season, the Reds fall two games below 500. We certainly didn't put our A game on the field today, and, and we haven't swung the bats very well for two or three weeks. Uh, whether it's the idea that our backs are against the wall, we have to win this. I don't know. And before the game, the Reds send Brian Moeller to the 15-day disabled list, nursing a weak pitching shoulder. Moeller may be considered damaged goods. He had major so shoulder surgery last season in Detroit. Replacing Moeller will be Chris Reitzma, who had been sent to the minors, but now Reitzma will start for the Reds on Saturday if they play ball. Uh, baseball players will strike tomorrow night at midnight if a deal isn't done. Bud Selig is genuinely concerned. The commissioner has finally arrived in New York to be close to the negotiations. Both sides got together several times today. They're still meeting tonight, and the commission appeared briefly at the fourth meeting, but only to say, hello, no news to report. Welcome back. Baseball player reps are talking at this hour amongst themselves because the union and owners just can't come to terms at the bargaining table. They met at least four times today. We are told they may be meeting through the night, but no word yet on any deal. I think the less that's said about um, the substance of what's going on there, the better right now. And it may keep people wondering and may uh, keep the media, uh, you know, frustrated. But I think that's the best way to get deals done because then false rumors don't start. Meantime, the Reds and Cards complete their four-game series today, and the Reds are in no better shape than 
when the series began. There's still seven and a half games behind the first place St. Louis Cardinals, and the Reds are one game below 500. Let's go to Synergy Field. Jimmy Haynes pitches a seven-hit shutout over eight innings for his 13th win, helps his own cause here in the second. Fernando Vina can't handle the ball, scores two runs. Sean Casey leaps over the tag. It's 2 nothing. Still in the second, Todd Walker singles the left. Kelly Stinnett scores. Reds are rolling. Three zip. All nine players come to the plate in the five-run second. Barry Larkin with a fly to right. Eli Marrero can't make the catch. Haynes comes home, so does Walker. It's now 5-zip. Cards threaten in the third, loading up the bases, but Haynes gets Albert Pujols to ground into a double play, so St. Louis remains scoreless. Reds' most potent bat today, Jimmy Haynes. He strikes again in the fifth. Reggie Taylor scores. Reds win at 7 to nothing. but afterwards, the talk centered on what else? The state of the game. Sometimes you have to stick up for yourself, stick up for your cause, and uh, if it's going to cost guys money, cost guys time, cost guys whatever it's going to cost them, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice.